Okay, well, back at it again, uh, another week. Hopefully I'll get further this time than I did last week. I uh, bought more, got more wiring, a lot of my uh, uh, 110 wiring came in. As a matter of fact, all my wire, 110 wiring came in. I bought better tape, so I am going to tape it up. I have to in order to get the uh, in order to get the insulation in. And I only have two wall panels, so I'll try to put those in just so I can see how it's going to look. But um, that's my goal today: get uh, the electric in, and uh, we'll see how it goes.
So, this will go into my inverter over here in the back, and I'll run this up and over to my first outlet right here, and then from that outlet, I'll take the Romex and go over to the next one. extension cord is just long enough to go to this outlet and then I'm gonna to have to get some more Romex to go from there to that one so any of the walls that I do today I'll do on this side and uh, put the insulation in so that's how that's gonna work Okay, now comes the messy part of cutting the styrofoam insulation. So, cool thing is, is each one of my studs is 16 inches apart. Not on center because the original insulation I was going to get was 16 inch bats. So, 
Um, I've since changed that. <laughs> there was a five week wait period, so. Um, so I decided to do that, now I can just cut them. The only problem I'm gonna have, I think, is when I use the four by eight sheets of plywood. So, um, we'll see how that goes, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. Sorry about that. So, these need to be 75 inches long by 16 inches wide. I already, of course, cut that for that one.
Okay, you might be asking why I did that. As you know, I have the wires in there. The wires are pretty thick. So I need to have that like flush. Just like that. Kind of wanted to get these strapped together. Gotta keep them out of the way because they're all gonna go together anyway. Look a little more finished. Um, <laughs> I got all the um, insulation in that I can get in for today. Pieces I could have got, but man, that stuff is a mess. I would I would say if you if you're gonna do this kind of insulation, which is really really good insulation, uh, it's like R10 or something like that for a box truck. That's that's really good. But um, I would say use a hot knife, like a wire, hot wire if you can get one. I know there's uh, instructables and stuff like that where you can make them yourself. That's what I would do next time, I think. And I also double checked on my wiring. Uh, actually did it right, <laughs> so yay. Uh, this one, like I said, I still have to get one more uh, Romex lead over to there. 
so I can hook up my air conditioning. Uh, then, the only thing left to do as far as wiring goes is to get all my solar stuff. And uh, that's going to take me a little bit because that's quite expensive for me. Uh, so, I'm going to probably start on the ceiling next week. Uh, I do have, when I put the insulation in, I do have uh, the puck lights that need to go in. So, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to wire it and drill it and, and get the holes for the puck lights and all that. Uh, usually, you can just cut a hole in the board and put it up there, but with the insulation that I have, it's, uh, it's pretty close to the top. So I might even have to bring this down another notch. And I really should have brought this out to get my uh, airspace, but um, you, you get too much. It's, you know, I only have 105 square feet, so you're, you're kind of limited. You don't want to give it up that easily. So I think it'll the insulation will do fine. I might have to bring the ceiling down a little bit, but I'm 5'11", so not that bad. Um, I think that's it. So I think I got a lot done today. Um, real happy about the electrical and uh, getting the insulation in. So um, if you liked it, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the bell. And I'll see you next time.